I would like to discuss the incident of mass slide at Atami City in Japan. This happened on the 3rd of July, 2021, which is this year. Um, Atami City located in the southwest of Tokyo, about 85 kilometer, as you can see in this map. The mass light occur around 10.30 local time and then um, killing two people and about 20 others is missing, was missing. The houses uh, were swept away by the mass light, which um, mass light came after the heavy rain. And then um, not only that day, that they had a heavy rain, but the first three day, uh, first three days of the July, uh, they have the unusual, unusual heavy rainfall that coming down. About three hundred homes uh, had been affected by the landslide. Hundreds of thousands of residents in three prefecture have been ordered to evacuate, fol following the warning of the further flooding in the low-lying area. This is the photo actually captured from the video showing the mud that slide or flow into the area, into the city. You can see that um, the material here is a soil that mixed with water and then it turned into the liquid-like material that it flow like a water, even though that uh, the, the velocity or the speed of the flow may not equivalent to the, to the water, but um, it's still pretty fast in this case. And um, since normally the density of the, of the mud slide is more than the water. The water density is about like one ton per cubic meter. That's the density of water. But this one, the density of the of the mass slide, may be about like 1.5, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5 ton per cubic meter. This means that it has more momentum, more force yeah, coming with the speed. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of force that destroy whatever that is in its way. It's all covered by mud. And then, as in the aspect of the rescue, it's even more difficult because uh, when everything covered with mud, it's difficult to remove the mud and then try to rescue the people or finding some uh, survivor down below. Okay, this is just a photo showing the, uh, what happened. Of course, uh, not only a mud, but not only mud, but also some debris, like a tree, and also some uh, debris of rock. Let's see some video so we can see what's, what's going on. When, when we see the flowing of the water, uh, if the water flow in the speed more than one or two meter per second, we're considering that water is fast moving. But you can see here, the speed of the mud flow is, is more than that, more than one or two meter per second. And then you can see that um, uh, the black uh, liquid material is actually the, the, the mud the soil that mix together with water and then it flow down from the steep slope so that's why it has a lot of momentum a lot of force
But it, it's interesting here. You can see that after it flow for a while, it seems like the speed of the flowing is slowed down. This is the nature that is different. The mass slide is different from the flooding or the flat flood. Because flooding or water never stop, it's just slow down. Okay, but in this case, since the material is mixed between the soil and then the mud and then also water, okay, and then um, whenever the, 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 the mixed liquid material, liquid like material like this, flow down, and then there would be some debris, yeah, some sedimentation on the, on the way, along the way that it flow. Yeah, and in some certain, certain distance, yeah, the material will settle down, settle down, and then, uh, and then try to block yeah, whatever came after. Yeah. So see what's going on next. It's, it seems like it's stopping. Like this one as well, you can see. This debris, eh? I'm sorry. Um, and you can see this debris, yeah? Moving down, moving down. And then, um, want to show this and then you can see this car really lucky yeah, because the the breeze is starting to push this car but suddenly it's kind of stopped yeah, for a while and as i already mentioned that is because of the you know the the the, the breeze and the soil try to settle however when it settle it's blocked yeah it blocked the mass of water that came behind yeah, and then when the pressure from the from the behind from behind is piling up, yeah, it start to push the breeze again. So you can see, so it's the behavior is like a wave. So it stop here, okay, but the water pressure piling up, building up, building up behind, and then it will flow again. So you can see the mass line is not just going only one, you know, one, one step and finish. And it can come in several ways. And you can see all the whatever on its way will destroy. And if the we try to try to stop the whole mass has moved. It's difficult because there's a lot of pressure behind. Here's another view. Very fast. Very fast moving. And um, again, this lucky lucky car. And this is not so lucky that time. No way. The reason that the, the moving of this degrees is not like water, because this material has viscosity. And so it's the soil, the mud has viscosity. Yeah. So when the speed is slowing down and when the mass is settled or the sediment settle down, viscosity is getting higher and higher. And so it's try to stop. But however, when it stops, it blocks the flow of water behind. Yeah, so that's why water pressure behind is building up and you can see it's push again. And then it stops again and then it push again. So it's like a wave, yeah, it's like a wave. This is what happened with the debris flow and mud flow like this. Same video. Same video. And then um, you can see all the 
houses, wooden house, or some brick house, even brick house if that is on its way. It's gone. Okay, let's see the location of um, the area that is the must lie occur. I think you have re memorized this one, eh? this building, like a like a landmark of this must lie, must lie. And then um, we have the trigger area over there. Yeah. Trigger area up on the mountain. Heavy rainfall may occur very heavy up on the mountain, but not in the village here, not in the residential area here. So that's why it's very important when we, when we try to monitor or detecting the landslide or mudslide like this one. We need to put the instrumentation or our monitoring devices on the mountain yeah, where the area of the landslide will occur and flow down. Yeah, that's really important. Yeah. So you can see this is the trigger area and then this is the area that is affected. Yeah. And um, this area is also very dangerous if there is a lot of houses over here. Yeah. If, the, if this area slide down, yeah, there can be a big flood, a big mass slide and many may have lost their life in this in this valley but in uh, in the case that it happened uh, it's occur here but along the way here is just the uh, mountain channel that flow down but um, unlucky that this area is on the lower area yeah, that the water and mud this chart in this area um, going up on the top we can see the area that is start to slide. Yeah, this is what uh, the material that is already slide down. Yeah, slide down. And then you can see the topographic area yeah, because of its very, very narrow channel here. Yeah, very shallow, but steep. So that's why all the water and all the mud flow down. And during the flowing down of the mud or the water, it start to erode or scour yeah, all the soil, yeah, the mud along the way, and it start to accumulate the debris along the way and this chart and destroy this area. This is the slope yeah, starting from the uh, trigger area over here and along the flow path yeah, to the affected area. The approximate slope here is one by three, yeah, vertical one and then horizontal three, yeah, which is basically this is the natural slope, general natural slope, considering as a a slope that favorable for the landslide. Let's see the speed. This is the classification of the speed and then the prob probable uh, destructive uh, from each class. In our case, uh, um, of course, it's not, it's not in the term of millimeter per year. It's not in the term of the meter per hour, not even in the unit of meter per minute. Yeah, but we, we can see the speed of the debris flow. It can see, we can see that it's in the unit of meter per second. Yeah, so we, we can classify immediately that it's extremely rapid, yeah, class seven. So class seven, yeah, catastrophe of major violence building destroyed by the impact of the displaced material. Many deaths uh, escape unlikely. If it's in the flow plant, it's really difficult because it came very fast. Now, for the case of Atami landslide in the 3rd of July, 2021, it was 
estimated velocity about nine to 10 meters per second. So nine to 10 meters per second, if we look at the case history, the case history of the debris flow or mud flow, you can see, yeah? yeah. It will cause many deaths yeah? over here. Yeah. This one uh, in Ikura, Ikuta, yeah, 18 meter per second, very fast, very fast. Okay. And uh, you can see this is before and after, yeah, before and after this building, this building. And then you can see along the flow path, yeah, yeah, everything was destroyed. Yeah, everything was destroyed. Uh, let's look closer uh, to the uh, trigger area. <clears throat> In the trigger area, let me come back here. Uh, on the mountain, we, uh, we can see that this area is the area that what we call zero order basin is the area near the top of the mountain that the water will accumulate and flow into this, you know, this area and flow down to the channel, flow down to the channel. So it means that this area can have uh, high erosion because of the concentration of the, of the water, a large amount of water, but flow in the very narrow channel. So it has a tendency of the erosion in this area. And um, the mud that you have seen, not only from the beginning of the slide, but along the way is collected, the material along the way, not only the mud, but some rock fragment, some tree that flow down. And that is very scary. And um, this area after the debris flow is extremely unstable. This is very dangerous. Yeah, it's saturated, um, it's disturbed, and then the, you know, you can see in this video, at, even right now in the video, you can see that it's highly unstable, okay? And um, one of the main reason, because it's heavy, it, it's highly saturated, and then um, the soil solid try to change into the liquid state. Uh, of low state uh, easily. This is very dangerous. And if you look at the material, you can see the color is dark brown, uh, some dark, some brown. Let's see what is the material or the parent rock of this uh, that can, you know, produce this kind of uh, soil. Okay. Um, the rock here is the volcanic rock. Yeah. And this and this city, Lawas. Yeah. So that's why we have no surprise that um, you can see the color and then the and then the texture of the soil that is like a volcanic ash. Yeah, like a volcanic ash. Yeah. This this kind of material is is when it's saturated. Uh, the shear strength can reduce really large. Uh, in Thailand, we also have this kind of material, uh, volcanic rock over here, but not as many as in Japan. Uh, but comparing of the friction angle, which is you know representative of the shear strength, the parameter of shear strength, you can see among among all the uh, other type. Yeah, of the soil that decompose from different type of rock. You can see that volcanic rock gave the lowest friction angle, especially when it's saturated. Yeah, so that's why yeah, when, when um, in this area where you have the volcanic ash, when you have the volcanic rock, there's a possibility that if it's a heavy rainfall, uh, and then um, it became saturated, especially if the heavy rain call con rainfall continue for two days or three days. Uh, and then um, that is, uh, that is uh, start to be danger. In Thailand, 
I'm not sure that is the same as in Japan or not, maybe not, but in Thailand, if we have a rainfall amount of 150 millimeter, uh, 150, uh, 150 millimeter uh, per day, uh, we start to, uh, we start to uh, uh, warning the people who live in the risk area. Uh, but if it's 300 millimeter per day, uh, we will issue the evacuation uh, at that at, at the moment. Um, at that moment, during my recording of this, uh, uh, not only the landslide or mudslide that we have seen uh, in Japan, but recently we have uh, the case of the flat flood and some landslide in Germany. Uh, or in many parts of Europe. We also uh, have the situation in China uh, that heavy rainfall came and then the flat flood uh, coming and also some dam break uh, and some problem with the underground train that the water flow into the underground train. So these are the things that it can happen uh, now today, uh, not only the you know the uh, at the moment that we need to fight with the COVID nineteen, but we still need to fight or be aware uh, of the flat flat landslide that can occur. Yeah. We uh, we 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 can say that this is the double uh, double disaster. Uh, not second disaster, but double disaster because we have COVID-19 and then we have landslide, mudslide and debris flow. Uh, and then um, uh, the rescue even more difficult. Okay. okay, so that's all. I think this might help uh, in terms of the uh, uh, education. Okay, thank you very much. So that's all.